awesome friends. Your idiot of a boyfriend? Why don't you let me meet him? Well, mom and dad left for the weekend. I think they just wanted to get away from all the reminders of Ross. Did you go for coffee again? Anyone talk to you? Nope. Ugh. What? It's just, you constantly complain about how lonely you are, but you never approach anyone. That It doesn't work like that. You have to put yourself out there. I know. I know, it's just... Since Ross... Since Ross went to heaven. Amy. I, I know you don't buy that whole God thing, but it just makes me feel... I don't know. It makes me feel better, even if it's not true. It's just... Since Ross died, I feel like there's this hole, like, in me, I, and, and I can't fill it. Well, what are you gonna do about it? about that. I'm Will. June. Nice to meet you, June. What are you smiling about? Nothing. I just, I met somebody. Who? You guys going out? No, it's just a friend. Mm-hmm. You, you didn't touch your lunch. I'm not hungry. Come on, Amy, will you just please eat your lunch? It makes me feel better. You would never eat. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I just, I feel like religion is such a sham. What makes you say that? What do you mean? Like history? Tsunamis? Genocides? Murder? No, I'm talking about history. I'm asking about you. I... I... I had a brother. His name was Ross. Uh, he was 10. And earlier this year we went on a road trip. A uh, family road trip to Grand Canyon. And so, my parents suggested I go on a hike with him, and he slipped. God, Will, I'm, I'm so sorry. That's, that's not the end of the story, of course. He held on. He was on this edge, and I tried to reach him, but I couldn't. My arms weren't long enough. He was screaming. It was, it was this blood-curdling scream. I, I can hear it now. He just, he kept screaming. That isn't meant to happen to 10 year olds. You know, it should have been me or somebody older. It's sad to see that go to waste, especially at an age like 10. Yeah, well, 10 wasn't such a good age for me. Why? My aunt had cancer and she died. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't even worry about it. It was a long time ago now. Before she passed, she gave me this necklace, her necklace. And the next day at school, this guy saw it and he took it. He said he wanted to give it to his sister or something. Where does this guy live? What are you doing? He's impulsive. Hey, it's, it's you, and you. You're my girlfriend's brother. Hey, you're not wearing your necklace. Oh, uh, I didn't have the heart to tell you after what you did yesterday, but 
wasn't even my necklace. Oh, um, I'm sorry. No worry. I've been meaning to tell you something. Uh, what's up? So, there's this guy. Who? Um, this kid in my Spanish class. I don't like him already. You don't even know him. Keep going. I don't know, we've been talking for a while and he's just nice and funny and cool. Uh, 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 sorry. If you've got something to say, say it. No, I, I don't have anything to say. Uh, I don't know, why can't you just be happy? Well, you are you don't... Listen, I'm sorry, but I just don't think of you like that. I know, I wasn't... I, I don't... There's nothing wrong with it. I... I know, uh... I, I need to go for a walk. Do you want company? No, not, not this time. Uh, maybe later. Was it a guy? It wasn't just a guy. It's Ross. And you. Me? What did I do? My boyfriend, he came over. He said you came out of the blue and punched him. He broke up with me. He hates me. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Amy, are you awake? I'm awake. If you don't believe in God, Will, what do you think the point of life is? Ross, I think the point of life is what we assign to it, it's no one thing or another thing. We, we get to make life what we want it to be. What if you don't have enough time to figure out what you want your life to be? Then you better hope you enjoyed your life while you had it. Are you sure this is a good idea? It's not. Did you get it? I think so. Go away! No! Look, I just... I wanted to apologize, okay? I know what I did yesterday was not cool. Walking off like that. I I was bitter and jealous of some guy I don't even know. So afterwards, I went and I uh 
I got something of yours. I hugged a girl today. Amy. But can I have a second to talk to Ross on my own? Why? You don't even believe in all that heaven stuff. You don't have to believe in God to talk to your family, Amy. Okay. Hey, Ross. Look. I just wanted to say that some of the times I spent with you were the best times of my life. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't reach you in time, but I want you to know, I want you to know that I loved you with all my heart. I did. So, so, I'm going to tell you a story, all right? One day, there was a kid. He, he was a lot like you. He died. His parents, they just, they couldn't take it. So they left. They left their kids at home, alone, mourning the loss of their brother. And one kid, he couldn't cope. He just missed his brother too much. <laughs> he missed his brother too much. So, eventually, he met this girl. The girl didn't make everything better, but he started to be happy again, which was something he hadn't felt in a really long time. Okay, Ross. Ready to try this? Ready. I'm gonna let you go, okay? 